<laughs> I got no space! Arrgh! You know, I'm always moaning. I've got too many toys on my desk. Just have a look at my desk. Hang on. Stay there. Don't go anywhere. Um, uh, let's count. Uh, Roddy, uh, Lugnut, two bumblebees, an Enterprise, uh, a Ravar, two little minicorns, two sets of guns, a great big monkey bot. Yeah, right. Uh, Hound, uh, United Tracks, RC, Laserbeak. Uh, we got Megatron over in the background. Creole, Creole, bram. and um, uh, another Bumblebee, and another Bumblebee, and Coca Cola, and <sighs> I'm running out of space. I'm running out of space. The other thing that's been noticed recently is my love of... 90s. <laughs> I got yellow sunglasses and I got a yellow hoodie. Could it be any more 90s? I look a bit like Timmy Mallet. Ah! Oh no! Shit! Uh, oh, we're safe. We're safe. Just lost the wings. Oh shit. I've just knocked my RC off the desk and lost her wings down behind the desk. I shall retrieve. After I have a little whiskey. Ow! Oh. 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 Wings! I would love to wear these for the rest of the conversation, but I fear not seeing your eyes on the YouTube channel would be... Where's the connection? What kind of collector are you? I am... A collector who likes toys! <laughs> I happen to collect Transformers. I could probably branch out into other stuff. I am um, shortly, shortly there will be uh, a video of my new passion that I found, which I am passionate about my passion because it's passionately passionate, passionate. I like it. Uh, see, the problem is it's <laughs> drawing, which was used to be my first love when I was a child, is a bit too static for me these days and it requires me sitting down. And while I love the creative energy that goes into drawing, I find it quite stifling at the same time because it doesn't give me enough back. When I've finished, I've just got a picture and it's just like, I've, I've finished my picture and now I've got nothing. But if I got me one of these, oh, there's endless possibility. I mean, this one took uh, maybe 10 minutes to put together today. First time from the instructions I had away. <laughs> Bend at the elbow, he got little hips like that, he got good swivelly ball joints, he got a beautiful head sculpt, bearing in mind he's made of Lego. I do tend to leave a lot of my stuff just sat on the shelf. But I am very much of the ilk that I... See this is why when I get my own place, all of my collection's going to go in the bedroom and then there's going to be like a special little unit, a special little... Um, corner of Curio, uh, where I'm just going to have the toys that I'm into at that moment, whether it be stuff that I've just got, stuff that I've picked up and haven't played with for absolutely ages, anything that just sort of fits my, fills my attention at that moment will probably come with me to the living room and I can just sit there and tinker with them while I'm playing, watching the telly. And then they'll go back on the shelf and something else will come out, the latest new thing, the, the, the craze, the... Um, Whatever's hot, man. I mean, what I'm really loving at the moment is my Armada Megatron, which I've only played, I picked up like twice. You know when you get something that just sort of falls your way and you're like, oh, brilliant, I've, oh, it's a beautiful toy. And then you sort of take it home and stick it in a corner and think, I'm going to play with that later. And you never get round to it, you never do it. Well, I've been playing with it. Ow. And I'm going to combine him with my... Unfortunately, not Energon. Um... Oh, mental block. Maybe sunglasses will help. Time!
Tidal Wave, yes. Um, I'm going to combine my Armada me uh, Megatron with my Tidal Wave. I think it's an Energon Tidal It's not an Energon Tidal Wave because it hasn't got the lovely bits of green Energon tomfoolery on there. But the point is, I love my collection. I, I do. I do sit there and smile. If I'm having a bad day, if it's early in the morning, if it's if I can't sleep at night, I, I still, to this day, take a good look at my shelves, especially if I've tidied them up and they're looking pretty. Top shelf of mine's looking pretty awkward at the moment. There's lots of stuff that's sort of fallen over from having wobbly shelves and doesn't really... I've got sort of Ironhide in front of Sentinel Prime and I'm worried that Sentinel's going to shoot him in the back. I just love it. I love having them all out. I love having them displayed. I feel close to them. I do. I feel close to them. I, I feel... I, can, I don't know how to put it into words, but by having it there is like comfy slippers when I come home. It's nice. They're comforting. I can pick them up and play with them. They're mine. It's my physical embodiment of my passion and I like it. Do I play with my robots? Fuck yeah. Always. Why wouldn't you? Um, yes, all, all the time. And as I said, I would have my little uh, five or six special ones that... Uh, for example, he... He has... He's epic, he's amazing, but I've not really done anything with it. I've not, I've not found a place where he belongs. I'm thinking he's going to go over by the telly, so he's, I'm sort of always looking at him, and I'm going to put him in that one knuckle on the ground, one fist up in the air pose that they had on the Kapow Toys website for a little while. He is just that one step beyond awesome that means he doesn't need to sit uh, on the generation shelf. He could really be doing with somewhere a, some slightly more prominent that says, this toy is amazing and you must pay attention to it. Do I play with them? Yes, I pick them up and I transform them from time to time. My favourite play one at the moment, I mean actual just kind of pew 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 and making him stand in a pose as if to say, ah, me, uh, is this little guy that I owe to uh, Mr. Macquarie, actually, who, who was the, um, the originator of today's subject. Uh, he's good. His light piping is just... I wish I could show you, but it would mean just shining bright lights into it and, and my things upstairs. And he's so good. He's uber poseable. He's really good fun to transform. You can do it in, like, two minutes. You can just really pose him up like he was in a magazine, like he was going to really sort of punch someone's face out. I mean, I love this, but is it poseable? Is it playable? You get it from one mode into the other. It doesn't really stand up particularly well. It's an amazing piece of amazingness, but it's not a toy. It's not a play thing. It's not something that I can pick up, put on my desk, put in a pose as if he's going like... Pew, 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 and then change it in a couple of days' time because I want him into jeep mode or... Where play does come into it, and I feel this is the important bit, this is the crux of the matter, this is the bit you all need to pay attention to. Are you sitting comfortably? Then I'll begin. This is play. This is play for me. This is me sitting at my desk, my filthy, dirty, covered in robots desk. This is my little shrine. This is my little piece of archaic craziness where my creativity can go run amok and not worry about what people think and how they're going to judge me or think I'm, you know, some people think I'm just an idiot. Some people think I'm creatively good. Some people just want to hear me squawk. Some people really don't like what I do. Um, and this place, this, this box, this camera, this computer, this little this chaotic piece of gorgeousness is the one place where I sit down and none of those exterior factors matter. It's just me having fun and talking to my camera and doing deep voices like this. And I don't know why I do them, but I quite like it, even though it hurts. I believe that's my reply. Uh, I would like to say... The people are opening the door. This is 90s Dave. <laughs> Getting interrupted saying I will um Big up your bad selves